We're back with the brand new Trojan T28 1.2 meter. Guys, this thing is just making us all drool. We absolutely love it. Here's one of the best features of it. Had to make sure my fingers were clear. <laughs> <laughs> Doing that blindly is scary. And I've got a 3S battery in here. We're gonna pop a 4S battery in. In my maiden flight, my telemetry voltage was set a little high. I've dropped at the 3.4 volts per cell now. And I actually just think because of this cold weather, I should be flying on a bigger than a 2200 milliamp battery. We're probably gonna get a couple short flights today, but 3S first, then a 4S, let's go. Abby, what is it about a T28 that people just can't get enough of? Everybody loves the T28, right? Yes. On this 3S flight, we'll just keep it a little bit on the scale side. I've got my flaps up already, and we'll put the retracts up when we get a little closer to the camera so we can all see the beauty of it. And just like on the first flight, we don't want to do a wingtip stall, so we just got to keep our speed up through those corners and banks and... Retracts. Oh, that was good. a nice pretty pass. <laughs> It's all about knowing the timing of your retracts, right? For the camera. For sake. the camera, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> and the speed of the airplane and trying to get that to happen right in front of the camera. This is my favorite approach right here. It looks good, it sounds good. This is a great airplane to fly. Um, <laughs> let's do a full throttle pass on 3S so you guys can get a feel for that. Here's full throttle. Oh, look at you with that yeah. little tip for the camera. We'll go right getting down fancy. the runway one more time. Full throttle pass. That's how you know Nate's comfortable with a, a plane when he tips toward the camera. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, I like to kick safe off. It's actually easier to do that when safe is off. So now that safe is off, we can really show off for the camera <laughs> <laughs> you gonna try uh, knife edges this time i don't know let's do a nice little uh rollover dive i like that maneuver i used to do that all the time back at our old field you could fly in a u all yeah. day <laughs> i need to cool it on this little 2200 milliamp battery with 3s because i was already getting a little bit of voltage telemetry back to my radio so that was a full throttle climb and that's why i did that it's not going off anymore but i definitely need to just keep it calm on this 3s pack and plan on flying with bigger batteries with this airplane because it has a much larger canopy inside where we can definitely fit a bigger battery in so this 3s flight is going to be a little bit short on this 2200 milliamp battery it doesn't mean it's not going to be a good one we can just bring it around and show off this beautiful bird it even has markings on the bottom of the wing right there you can see them the star and i think it says navy on the other side i'm pretty sure i, I don't remember but it looks good it just looks awesome you're gonna like flying this plane abby we got to get you in the air next as long as i can bring it home in one piece <laughs> So let's go. I'm actually just going to go ahead and get excited about the 4S battery. Safe is on. Let's put retracts down. We'll look at the battery telemetry when we're coming in for a landing. Now, I'm not going to land it on this approach. Just wanted to show you guys one, two, three wheels. Looking pretty good, right? Yep. The wind is coming in from right to left, so that's why we're gonna land. And I actually like landing this with full flaps on. Maiden flight, it felt really good. Um, but you know what? Let's just try landing with no flaps. Now that I'm thinking about it and see what the difference looks like. Um, the first two flights I had of this airplane, both on 3S and 4S, I did full flaps. And uh, this time I'm just gonna keep flaps off and there's very little wind. So how much do we need the flaps in other words, right? That's what we're kind of testing. Coming in hot. Yeah, a little, little speedy there that was a pretty good landing but definitely noticeably faster now again the the wind is less for this flight so um, it taxis much better without that strong wind pushing me around too and in order to steer this airplane that front wheel has to be touching the ground and when the wind is kind of knocking that wheel up some it's harder to steer so it's taxiing a lot better today and boy that prop just looks really good <laughs> let's put the 4s battery in and check the telemetry really fast where is my battery at 3.82 volts per cell now that we're on the ground so what did we have on the flight time there almost what, for three and a half four minutes so that's a pretty good flight on such a small battery on an airplane that has so much going on. Since the wind died down, I thought it'd be fun to take off right to left just to mix it up a little bit. Half flaps on, safe is on because we do have wind to our backs. It's gonna help me out. 
You definitely don't want to take off with wind to your back like ever, but since it's very little, I just went ahead and did it. Okay, uh, flaps are off and I want to fly around here. I'm going to put these retracts up just, I'll do it. I'll do it for the camera and then I want to show you guys something that we just spotted. So three, two, one. Go. Oh yeah. This, this, this plane looks good. It the does. retracts look good going up. Come over here, Abby. Follow the plane yeah. and then you can get stuck over here for a second if you want to. But check this out. Look at that contrail right there. I just flew through it. It's a curving contrail. I have never seen that before. I have never That's seen weird. a curving contrail before. It's got to be military of some kind, right? Because civilian jets and stuff, they would just keep going straight, wouldn't they? That's a weird one. I've never seen it curve. So completely missed the plane that did that too. <laughs> <sighs> okay, let's go fly in front of the camera. I'll come back in a little. Let's go full throttle. Um, nice full throttle speeding, low pass over the runway. Now that we have a 4S pack in, then we'll do a climb and some rolls and some really fun stuff. So here we go, full throttle. We'll go up. Whew, I was pushing down a little bit with safe on. I like the yellow Trojans, but the orange tips on the on this one always look really good flying by. That's nice. This is nice. Um, my my batteries are they're not liking the cold at all, at all. And hey guys, it's like 25 degrees out today, so I think that's why my telemetry is going off, even with the lower. Um, voltage set in there but what do you think do you, i put it on vibrate now instead of instead of the alarm so i like I'm it on sure vibrate you can hear it but it's not as annoying as that loud beep now if you're out flying with other people or whatever go with the loud beep or maybe you just go with the vibrate but um i think i like that i can definitely feel it it doesn't scare me i think the reason they put it on alarm by default is because that vibration could really scare a person if you were new to it you never played video games with a vibrating controller or something like that you know you might freak out and drop the controller and that wouldn't be good so now that we know to expect it i really like it and i think abby you'll probably like that setup in your radio too yeah all these things we're talking about is a conversation we would not have had about a year ago this new technology telemetry you know it just makes the hobbies so much more enjoyable. What a sweet pass that was. <laughs> Just nice and clean. Nice and clean. Let's do a faster pass. You you call it the pretty pass, don't you? I think there's a technical name for when we come in and just, it's almost like a knife edge, but it's not a knife edge. We kind of show off, you know? That wasn't great. Um, just transitioning from you safe waited too out long. of safe. <laughs> yeah, I did wait too long. We'll try it again on this next pass. For me, I find it easier to do going right to left. And a lot of times it's simply because you're just getting out of that bank and you can kind of work your rudder into it. And then you're holding a knife edge right there, right? So we're actually doing a knife edge on this T28. It wasn't the best, but it's kind of holding it. Has pretty good rudder authority. Uh, let's just throw a couple rolls at this and a couple loops. I don't think we've done much this flight. I've really just been kind of getting a feel for the airplane. Let's go with a nice quick roll over us. We'll go rolling the other way now into a loop handles loops really well and my radio is just telling me hey man your battery is low but when i land it i know i'm going to be sitting at like 3.7 volts maybe 3.8 volts per cell so I, I know what to expect out of this uh, i just don't like flying in cold weather with that telemetry it's really almost like mis misleading you know it can be a little bit deceiving when you have telemetry and this is the case with all lipo alarms you can have those little three dollar lipo alarms that you're flying on any airplane with any lipo and they're going to kick uh, sooner than they would with warmer weather so it's just something that we have to accept with uh, winter flying let's go safe on kick those retracts down looks nice that wind is picked up again so we're definitely going to land left to right so we'll go around again i could have i could have probably landed that but you know <laughs> we like to land it a little closer to the camera look at the shadow on the hill do you see that can you chase that shadow see it isn't that awesome it's <laughs> cool about flying this time of the day and we'll kick full flaps on after we bank i don't like to kick flaps on in a bank sometimes that'll throw you off and when the alarm starts going off at about half throttle you know it's time to listen to it so Definitely want to land this now. The next time I fly, or maybe I mean, the next time you fly this, we should try to put in a bigger battery and see how it does. Sounds good. That was nice. 
I'll take that. That was a very good smooth landing. Very happy with that. We are getting some good solid flights in on this brand new airplane, guys. I am absolutely loving this thing. Well, I gotta say something that really takes the nerves out of my flying is knowing that I've got AMA in my pocket when I do. AMA is the Academy of Model Aeronautics. And guys, we're getting into a new flying season. So even if you already know what AMA is, the new guys that are signing up to the club to fly this spring, summer, and fall need to know what AMA is. Let them know. It's the Academy of Model Aeronautics. Tell them to stop by the RC Sailors super beginner friendly YouTube channel and also learn more about that insurance where it can literally save you a ton of headache. It's linked in the description box below. I love that monthly magazine subscription too and uh, yeah if you want to learn more about the AMA like I said it'll be linked below really close to where we have this brand new airplane linked if you guys want to check this plane out for yourself hit it up in the link you can look at all the specs but I love the fact that it has a 70 amp ESC it makes me wonder could you fly 5s on this if you really wanted to the 70 amp ESC says probably yes I don't know if the motor could handle it but that's awesome, right? Absolutely very cool. I'm a huge fan of this plane, and I think next up, we gotta talk Abby into flying this one. So I know you kind of hesitate to fly new release stuff, and- <laughs> The retracts know. on this one make me nervous. Well, you know what's nice about the retracts? You don't have to put them up if you don't want to. You can just pretend like they don't exist. <laughs> I do that sometimes. And same goes with the flaps. I landed it once without flaps. You just gotta bleed that speed off a little bit and try not to stall. I think you could handle it. So we'll have to plan on you trying to fly this sometime this spring or summer. I know, I know you can handle it. I mean, you are flying some pretty cool stuff now. So this is right up your alley. If you think you might pick this airplane up or you're maybe looking at another airplane on their website, I ask you guys to just buy it through our link it does help to support our channel and our family at no extra cost to you and really does mean an, an absolute world to us uh, just to help keep us going so even if you just need a new battery or a charger uh, and you, you're watching our video and you're like you know what I do need some parts for my airplane just click that link it'll pull up this airplane and then go buy the parts you need or the battery that helps us out a lot I want to say a massive thanks for this beautiful day to fly and all credit goes to God for that. I mean, this has just been great. I'm so happy and so thankful. And while we're on thanks, I wanna say a massive thanks to our Patreon supporters because you guys literally support us with your hard earned money. And that is just amazing. We thank you so much. We'll have our maiden flight of this T28 Trojan popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye.